what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can scrape indeed jobs automatically on make.com let's get started to scrape indeed jobs i'm going to use this tool called appify appify is an incredible tool with pre-built tools that you can use to scrape any website or automate projects go ahead and create an account on appify and after creating an account on appify head over to store right here and then here, we are going to search for the website that we'd like to scrape. In our case, we're going to scrape Indeed. So I'll search for Indeed. And then click on search. Now here, you can see 16 tools that you can use to scrape Indeed. So you can scrape jobs using all these tools right here. You can also scrape reviews on Indeed using these tools right here. But mostly, you're scraping jobs from Indeed. So here, you can either choose any of the tools right here to scrape Indeed. To scrape Indeed jobs, I'm going to use this tool right here. Now, on our tool, we can outline the kind of jobs and the location of the job that we'd like to scrape. So here, for example, we can scrape developer jobs in the United States or from any other country that you can choose over here. Then you can add the experience level where you can choose either entry level, mid level, or senior level. I'm going to choose mid level. You can either sort by date or relevance. In our case, we'd like to sort by date where we are going to source the recent developer jobs that have been posted here you have the option to choose the location in our case we're choosing new york and we'd like to scrape 10 developer jobs in new york to scrape the 10 developer jobs i'll click on start here you'll see that our tool will start running you can see right here that our tool just finished scraping 10 jobs in new york here we are getting the title of the job here we're getting the salary field here we're getting the location the job type the job key the date the job was posted we're also getting the job description related links and the company that posted the jobs so using this indeed job scraper tool we just scraped developer jobs in a specific location to automate this entire process of scraping indeed jobs we're going to create an automation on make.com that scrapes the, the Indeed jobs for you and add the jobs to a Google spreadsheet similar to this one. Where here, we're going to add the title of the job, the company that posted the job, the job type, the job title, the job description, the salary, and the date the job was posted. To create an automation that scrapes all the Indeed jobs, here, I'm going to search for Appify and click on Appify. Here, we are going to run an actor then here yeah, you'll need to connect your appify account to make.com to do that just click on add and then here rename your connection and then add your api token right here to get your api key click on settings and then click on api and then here you will find your personal api token now all you have to do is just copy it then on make paste it right here and after pasting it click on save but since i had already created a connection i'm going to choose my connection right here after creating your connection, here you will choose your actor. Our actor is called Noobs Indie Jobs. So we're going to find our tool, which is Noobs Indie Job Scraper. Here we are going to run synchronously. Then we'll need to input our JSON right here. Now, to get our JSON on our tool, you'll see where it says manual and JSON. Click on JSON. Then here we'll copy our JSON right here. And then after copying it, we can format our JSON using a JSON formatter like this one. So here, I'll paste our JSON. And then to format our JSON, I'll click on process. Then after our JSON has been formatted, I'll copy it. And then paste our JSON right here. And then here, just click on OK. Now, after scraping our jobs, we'll need to get our data. So on Appify, I'll click on get dataset item. We'll add our dataset ID. So our data set ID will be the default data set ID right here. And then we can choose to just lim the limit to say a thousand and then click on okay. Now let us try scraping developer jobs in New York using this automation right here. I'll run automation. You can see that automation ran successfully. Now, when we click on our get data set item module, you can see we scraped 10 developer jobs right here. Now, we can choose to add 
these jobs to a Google spreadsheet. I've created a Google spreadsheet that I've renamed to scraping sheet. Now, in one of our sheets, I've renamed it to Indeed Jobs. To add jobs to our Google spreadsheet, on Make, here, I'll search for Google spreadsheet. Then here, I'll click on Add a Real Module. I'm going to search for our spreadsheet right here. Our spreadsheet is called Scraping Sheet. For the sheet name, I'm going to choose Indeed Jobs. And then here we can add the values to the columns on our Google spreadsheet. So for the title, we can add the title of our job right here. For the company name, we can add the company name right here. For the job type, we can add the job type right here. For the job title here, since we're already collecting the job title right here, we can rename our column and choose to collect the source of our job on our scraping sheet. I'll rename source and make yeah. I'll refresh our now after refreshing our values, we can now add the source over here to reveal this source over here. And then for the job description, we can add the job description over here. For the salary, we can add the salary over here. Job posted date, we can add the job date right here. And then you can also choose to collect other values right here. Like the company overview link, company review link. We can collect the indeed job link on this H column. We rename it to job link on our spreadsheet. And then after we have collected our values, I'll click on OK. And then here, we can rename this column to indeed job link. Let us add our jobs on our spreadsheet right here. I'll rename this module to indeed jobs. Here, we are scraping our jobs. And then here we are getting our indeed jobs. And then click on OK. To scrape our jobs and get our jobs and add them to our spreadsheet, I'll run automation again. Automation ran successfully. Here, we're getting 10 developer jobs. And then we are adding the jobs that we just scraped to our Google spreadsheet over here. So here you can see we added 10 jobs to our Google spreadsheet. On our Google spreadsheet, you can see our jobs that we just scraped using our automation right here. So you can see the title of our jobs, the company name, the job type, the source, the job description, the salary, the date the job was posted, and the Indeed job link on our Google spreadsheet right here. So these are all the developer jobs that we scraped that we scraped from New York. If we have a, one or more job titles that we like to scrape jobs from Indeed, we can create another sheet on our Google spreadsheet and add a column called job title. Here's where we, we're going to list all the job titles that we like to scrape jobs from Indeed. So here we can, we can scrape web designer jobs, copywriting jobs, accounting jobs, lawyer jobs, or automation specialist jobs. You can delete this and choose to scrape copywriting jobs. And then add the 10 copywriting jobs to our Google spreadsheet right here. To get this spreadsheet on Google Sheet, I'll click on search a raw module right here. And then I'll add this as our trigger. And then here, I'll search for a spreadsheet. Then here, I'll choose jobs to scrape as our sheet name. You can say column range from this to this. You can order by row number. Here, I'll limit it to one. And then click on OK. So we can run this module and see if we're going to get our title. So we can see we're getting our job title right here. Our run actor module. Now, instead of manually writing the job title here, we're going to add our job title from our jobs to scrape sheet right here. And then click on OK. So here we can rename this to jobs to scrape. And then click on OK. To scrape copywriting jobs in New York, I'm going to run our automation again. You can see that automation ran successfully. Here, 
we are scraping copywriting jobs yeah we are getting all the 10 copywriting jobs that we just scraped using our indeed job scraper now here we are adding the 10 jobs that we just scraped from indeed to our google spreadsheet over here on our google spreadsheet you can see we have 21 jobs right here so here we can and insert in a row above to separate our two job titles that we just scraped. The first 10 jobs were the developer jobs. And then these are the 10 jobs or the cooperating jobs that we scraped. So here we're getting the title of the jobs, the companies that posted the jobs, the job type, the source, the job description, the salary, the, the, the jobs were posted, and the Indeed job link right here. This is a simple automation that scrapes Indeed jobs automatically on make.com. So here we are adding the title of the job that we like to scrape on one of the spreadsheets that we just created on our Google Sheet. And then here we are scraping the Indeed jobs using our Indeed Job Scraper tool on Appify. Then here we are getting our Indeed jobs. Then we are adding the jobs to a Google Spreadsheet that looks like this right here. Now, if you have an automation or a system in mind that you'd like for me to create, just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments, and if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire automation or system from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.